Zahas always were top tier in every melee class that they've covered. Adding Exodia Contagion on top of that just goes beyond. It becomes otherworldly. And sure, Contagion did take a couple of nerfs along the way, and it's no longer as devastating with casual melee builds. But if you focus your build strictly for Contagion, then it's still a beast. To explain the build, I'll start with types of attacks you can do that will release Exodia Contagion. For one, the most common way to do it is to either double jump or bullet jump, hold aim glide and yeet it with a melee attack. This launches a projectile that goes towards the point you aimed at, but it does have a curve. And it does good damage, but we can do better than that. If you do the same exact thing to launch a projectile, but you hold the aim glide after, and when projectile is about to hit, then you look down and you do a heavy slam attack. This causes contagion hit to make use of doubled critical modifier on heavy attacks, and the end result is just significantly more damage. But there's one more, and it's a move you will never, ever use outside of this. I bet most people never even knew that this was a move. You have to aim glide and slide in air and use heavy attack to trigger an aim glide heavy slide attack, which will launch a devastating projectile. For this one, you do have to be in that exclusive melee mode. Those are three separate things we can do with it, and I did introduce them in the order of strength, from the weakest to strongest. Zaw's stats are relevant for Exodia Contagion, and its base damage of the weapon and its critical potential. Contagion does all three physical damage types in equal part, as well as blast damage alongside elementals you build it for. So distribution of physical damage types on your Zaw of choice is irrelevant. Another feature of Contagion is that the projectile gains extra 100% damage each 10 meters it travels, up to 400%. Same stacks of 100% extra damage can be gained with combo, but it's calculated as total combo counter minus 1, which means that you need at least a combo counter of 3x to gain a single stack. But you can see how devastating this can be at 12x. Before you mod it, we need to make a Zaw that works well with Contagion, and if we are going for the highest damage, there's just one option, and it's the one you see on screen. The Kram with this has the highest base damage out of all Zaws. Link, that I will not even try to pronounce, is there to maximize the critical potential, as well as add as much damage as possible. Since Zaw Rivens are really affordable, it is something to consider when crafting a Contagion Zaw. The Kram without a Riven is worse than a lot of others with a Riven but not all of them. Some have very low base damage and I would avoid that when focusing on Contagion. Still, there's a balance to be had when it comes to how fast you do it, because this can be sluggish. When it comes to modding your Zaw specifically for Contagion, it's pretty simple. Critical chance, critical damage, damage, elementals, and that's a good start. Initial combo is very good if you can reach 3x. So you either have to go with daggers, with covert lethality, or get a ribbon alongside corrupt charge. And if you're making use of heavy contagion attacks, then killing blow also seems to affect it. For ribbon stats, it's critical chance that's golden because it unlocks red criticals on heavy contagion. As mentioned before, initial combo is very good, as it can work well with corrupt charge. But remember, you need at least 3x combo to gain a single stack. With a high disposition, you can probably go to 4x, which would definitely outperform the Kram. Range does not have any effect on it, so our melee build for Contagion turns out to be a very exclusive build, where our weapon is just eh. And this is kind of an out-of-the-pocket build that does sick damage and does not require you to do much to get it. However, if you sacrifice a little bit there to make something that can reach 12x combo easily, then you do get a far more devastating outcome for regular contagion attacks. Using heavy attacks to launch on contagion consumes your melee combo. So that's where this build with use of initial combo and killing blow definitely has its unique power, that thick heavy damage. Headshots with this spew out stupid high numbers. I assume this projectile also got the 3x headshot multiplier. 
and that should be enough for you to make a strong build without much trouble. If you got any questions, feel free to post them in the comments, like the video if you like it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.